Right. So, uh, yeah, guys. So this is uh, my first ever, you know, um, interview that I'm having here uh, with none other than Ismiti. You know, what I mean, one half of the great, soon to be great, I should say, uh, Soul Powers. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. You, yeah. Sir. Yeah. Thank you, uh, sir. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. And, you know, well, the reason why I'm doing this, of course, well, you know, for those who don't know, actually is, you know, that their, their debut project um, in the, uh, the beginning of, I actually ranked it as the best thing that I've heard uh, in 2021, right? Wow. And, you know, it, it, it still blows me, it still blows my mind, sorry, that, you know, you reached out to me on the same day that I actually put out that video, you know what I mean? Um, that, that just... And it was on, on Christmas, sorry, not Christmas Eve, oops. It was on uh, New Year's Eve, you know what I mean, of all these, right? So it's, like, yeah, 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 it's mind-blowing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean... We, mm. We, mm -hmm. No, no, go on. They, well, well, you, yeah, I mean, I mean, well, first of all, thank you, thank you, and thank you a million times. Like, you say, you say, um, mind-blowing that I reached out to you. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing to me that um that so someone of your caliber and, and when i say that I, I mean that um your caliber from 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 what you you reviewed um uh, my music and other people's music that i know but someone of your caliber to say that this is the um this this is your number one you talking about blowing your mind you you blew you blew my whole mind my year my next <laughs> 10 years you know, my, hmm. my motivation for the next so many years, man, like to see that, that was, that was, oh my, that was, that was amazing. Still amazing to this day. Yeah. And I think, I think, well, one of the main reasons why I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm just so eager to see things like that. And it comes from the heart. It's really, really genuine, right? No, no BS, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it, it's just because, um, you know, when it, when it comes to music, I always feel like, you know, um, you know, there's always like the mainstream acts, right? You know, the acts that you hear on radio and all that kind of stuff, right? But then you, you just kind of, um, after a while, you just realize, well, wait, you know, there's there's artists, I don't want to call them underground or indie, but yeah, I mean, that's what they are, right? And they're putting out, you know, high quality music and like, why isn't anybody talking about this? You know what I mean? Uh, so in my case, it's not like I've, I've listened to every single um, hip hop or R&B or pop album, you know, of 2021. But mm -hmm. I just stumbled on this project here, and you know, like, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, this 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 album just just stuck out to me the most. You know, I mean, compared to, you know, what I mean, because you know, you love the others for 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 various reasons and whatnot, right? But this yeah. one, yeah. Oh, yeah. there was something about this one that's really what this interview is about. Just kind of me trying to learn a little bit more, like just the behind the scenes into the process into what made this album work. You know? Yeah, yeah, and and that that right there is like it, it blows my mind because. Like personally, and shout out to my um, Soul Powers brother, Shy to Beat Yoda, who yeah, we shout all, out to Shy man, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we will be having. I actually talked to him, and because uh, he's he's crazy busy, like I'm busy, but I told him I said, man, we got we we have to do some um, interviews together, and mm -hmm. you are gonna be one one of one of the you you you're important, so we have to do something together with you so that's nice thank gonna, you thank you <laughs> yeah 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 we're gonna we're gonna make that happen i, I talked to him about it because like, he 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 has a basically um he had his first kid he had his first kid um his kid was in his in his wife's stomach while we were creating the debut album and i actually wow. I, huh. yeah yeah his for his, his first kid and 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 her first kid and I actually, um, I actually got we got a couple of we got a couple of songs that that's the, we got a song called Baby Talk that's just talking about that. I mean, it was mm. so much so much stuff going on there, but like like I say, um, for you for for you to feel like that this album, um, well, let me ask you this right here. How and I know you're gonna ask me the questions, but I want to ask you. No, no, I, I'll 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 yeah, how how did how how did you um come across our music? Well, to answer your question, um, it came through a service called Fiverr, an online freelance service that you know back in 2020, I mm -hmm. didn't think would actually work for me, right? But you know there was you know some financial uh, struggles on my end. Um, you know, the nine to five wasn't enough, right? So, you know, I just yeah. tried this thing. I thought it was going to be, you know, this whole side hustle thingy, right? I just tried it out. Yeah. Um, 
and it was based off of something that I was really passionate about, right? So um, I don't just, I, I didn't just wake up one morning and said I, I wanted to do music reviews, right? I watch a lot of uh, YouTubers who do the same thing as well. Um, I kind of copy and kind of fashion my own style based off of what uh, yeah. certain, you know, uh, music critics online do, you know what I mean? So that, yeah. that's where it all started, right? Uh, but I didn't think in a million years, right? And it's funny that it actually happened uh, right, I believe it was in March 2020 when, you know, uh, when, uh, you know, the pandemic was real and, you know, it was like, well, you know, stay home, quarantine, all that stuff, right? And I just got my first job, basically. And I was like, wow, okay, okay. And then another one came and another one came and another one came, right? And mm-hmm. um, yeah, it, it just continued on like that, right? And I started to promote myself through um, Instagram. I know you took notice of well of it as well too, yeah. because I know you follow me on Instagram, right? And then mm-hmm. yeah, in 2021, boom, you know, I mean this album, you you know, you, you dropped it in January, I believe it was, and you know, it's like a few months later, and you know, here it is, this this request, talk about the beginning of, right? And yeah, that was the beginning of it, you know. Yeah, you know what? And, and now, now I'm, I'm tripping now because I remember because I actually, I'm talking about how you discovered it. I actually hit you up to be like, yo, could you check this? And then boom, you checked yeah. it. I did. You yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you checked it. You checked it. And yeah. Here we um, go. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I really, really can't wait to talk about the album, right? But, um, you know, for those who uh, aren't familiar with who you are, you know, you could just kind of give like a, a little brief summary as to who you are, you know, musical style, influences, and whatnot. And then I'll just kind of dive a little bit deeper just to find out how, you know, um, how you got into the music biz, because that's something that really interests me, especially in the indie scene. And, of course, how you uh, met up with uh, Shy to Beat Yoda. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, well, myself, um, East Smitty, um, from from the Soul Powers and multiple groups, um, I got I got, I got got different groups, Itis, um year in advance i got i got a lot of mob capella a lot of different things that i'm i'm involved with but um i actually i actually got i got my start singing i will always credit that to my my grandmother the late great um corinne bruinton she okay. um okay. that's my that's my mom's mom she put okay. she put the, the the grandsons all the grandsons in the um the church choir Right. And uh yeah, I started out singing in the church choir at uh St. Matthew's Church Choir in uh Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm I'm originally from Zebulon, North Carolina, Z Town. Uh live in Atlanta now. But um North Carolina is my heart. But um we started singing um in St. Matthew's St. Matthew's Baptist Church in Raleigh, North Carolina. I was five year five years old. I was singing at five years old. I was lead singing at seven, and um, I was with my yeah. I was I was with my uncle, um, my uncle um, Kent Kenneth Smith, which my last name is Smith. My name is Emerson Smith. My last name is Smith, and we had a family group called the Smith Brothers. Um, okay. Leon, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Leon Smith, which we actually. It, it was a beautiful thing for me. I know I'm jumping around, but it was a beautiful thing for me, myself, my man, DJ 110. We actually have records recorded with my uncle because I consider my uncle Leon Smith as uh, a, a, along with my, my grandmother who got us into the church singing. They are like the predecessors of who I am today. You know, he he was um, he plays um, guitar, keyboard, uh, multi um it's, it's instrument, it's instrumental, it's instrumentalist. instrumentalist. Yeah, I know that, yeah, that's a yeah, tongue twister. Yeah, 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 it's killing me right now. Mm. And he sings, he writes, and um, long story short, um, we have we had the uh, Smith Brothers group, family group, uh, myself, my my two uncles, my auntie, and a couple of other cats. My dad was the manager, and um, we had a. Uh, family, the first anniversary of the group, which my uncle, my other uncle, who was the brother to my uncle Leon, he actually died a week before we had um, the anniversary. He was the bass player. He ran off a bridge. And as a kid, uh, I remember them trying to figure out what they was going to do for because it was the first anniversary that they they was going to do a show. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember um, it was at my grandmother, at my grandmother's house on my dad's side. I, it was a microphone sitting in the um, den. It was just by itself. And I went up to the mic and I said, I said, hey, and I heard myself. I heard myself and the speaker, because they had the speakers in the other room. It was my dad, my auntie, my uncle, everybody. They was trying to figure out what it, what 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 they're going to do to make this show go on with our uncle passing. And um, I said, hey, I heard myself. And then I said, hey, again, I heard myself again, like, wow, I'm, I'm intrigued. And my dad said, boy, get in here and sing. Literally, literally my dad said, boy, get, get in here and sing. And I didn't question him. I just went in there. And I just stood there, and to this day, I don't know how I remember what I needed to sing, but two weeks later, I was standing in front of like 100 people in um, Zebulon Elementary Elementary School Auditorium singing in um, the first Smith Brothers anniversary, and I've been singing ever since. Wow. That that is a great come up. That is a a really, really fascinating come up there, man. Yeah, Yeah, man. Yeah. Right. So in terms of like your, your career, like, like, um, you know, you could just give us like the cliff notes as to, uh, how you got started. Um, like I say, I've been, I've been singing, I've been singing since I was five. I've been, um, I, I also rap, I rhyme. I've been rhyming since I was like 11 or 12. And at the age I say around like my scene, uh, well, I started, I started rapping, you know, around my way, where, where, where I'm from. And um, I became pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I was like, if you if, if you went to Zebulon, North Carolina, they, they would say that, you know, Emerson, in which I, I actually, I, my my, uh, my rap name was um, Easy e before Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see you, I see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, got, I got it out of this book. I got it out of this book. Uh, this hip hop book, and uh, they were talking about like the different names, and I said, "Oh, Easy E." So I got that, and then when the, the Easy E came out, I was like, "Okay, forget about that. You can't. I couldn't match up to that, <laughs> you know." So, but um, basically, um, as far as like like taking it to another level, my um, senior year at high school, I got my brother, my cousin. And two of my best friends, um, DJ 110 and um, my man Cedric Dowdy, like two of my best friends, we got together and we formed a group, Mob Capella. Uh, Mob Capella was uh, soul and hip hop, you know, it was like rough and the smooth. Mm. And uh, yeah, and we and we did uh, my, my, my senior year, we did... For the variety show, we did Hard to Say Goodbye by Boys and Men a cappella. We sang the a cappella, and people mm. was like, wow, they, they were they was blown away. They was blown away. After that, me being who I am, you know, being a go-getter, I was um, um Boys and Men, TLC, and Hammer came to uh, Raleigh, North Carolina at the Walnut Creek um, Amphitheater. Oh, and wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they hmm. they, came, they came they came down and I was like, I was like, wow, you know, like being a go-getter. Now it, it doesn't happen this way now, but back then I actually picked up the phone and called Walnut Walnut um Amphitheater, Walnut Creek Amphitheater, and I was like, yo, um, I was you know, I told him my name, name of my group, and I was like, yo, um, I got a singing group and I want to see if y'all need some um opening acts. And the, the female that, that answered, she was like, well, I'm not sure about it, but I can connect you with a person. She connected me with a person called Cat, this dude named Cass Cone. Cass Cone talked to me. He came to our first producer where we was recording that. He heard us. He said, man, I, I want to have y'all out there um, as opening acts. I said, cool. And we actually got paid for it. But we was actually Plaza. We was the Plaza acts. I thought, I thought, I thought we were going to be on stage, but we was actually like in the venue where you go get your concessions and stuff. They had like little pe- bands that mm. was playing right there, but it was fine. You know, but we, we did what we did what we did. But when I, when I made that connection with him, I was so happy and just so over the top. I was floored that 
I was like, okay, everybody that I'm with, they're, they're feeling the same thing I'm feeling, or they may not. I just need to talk to somebody and tell them about this great situation. We're going to be opening for Hammer and TLC and um, uh, Boys and Men. And man, I went to I went to my local newspaper. Um, my our local newspaper was the Zebulon Record, which I'm from Zebulon, North Carolina. And yeah. I just walked I walked right in there. And I was like, and, and, and I swear to you, Matt, I, this was not on no arrogance of, yeah, we're doing this. It was like, I was so happy that I wanted somebody to feel what I was feeling. And I walked, I walked into that building and this lady said, she said, how, how can I help you? I said, well, my group, we just got lined up to be the opening act for Hammer and blah, blah, blah. She said, come into my office. And I did a whole interview with her and Three days later, we we, we were we were on the uh, front page of of the local newspaper, mm. straight up. Yeah, cool, cool. Front. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So so cut to the I assume the late twenty tens or early twenty twenties, right? Um, Shady beat Yoda. Like, how did that how did that connection take place? How how did you even like oh. get in touch with him at all? Um, shy shy. I knew I knew of shy. I knew of shot through my man Lazepo. Lazepo is um, an MC that actually he was like one of the first people that I started doing music with from from Toronto, and um, I knew that he was doing stuff with Shy, but I still didn't know Shy. Shy um, actually hit me up on Christmas Day of 2019, and he was like, "Yo, bro." Um, I knew that you rap and I knew that you sing, but I didn't know that you sung like that. I was like, okay. Right. I said, I said, thank you. And then he said, do you mind if I send you some tracks? Like, please do. I'm, I'm with it. He sent me, he sent me some tracks. And the first song we recorded was, uh, no, is a song called no more. The next song was, uh, let's get married. And after that, he was like, yo, bro, we should start a group. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, seeds being planted right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, so, so, so basically, <clears throat> I knew of Shy. I knew of Shy for a few years, but we never connected. I think um, when, when he first really got a, a win to me, was uh, it was a track that um, Lazeppo did that he produced. That I was like, yo, man, can I get a 16 on that? And um Zeppo was like, yeah, he sent it to me, they sent it to me, and we worked it out. But some some way or another, he 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 decided to listen to um a lot of my discography. I think I matter of fact, I think he listened to Before You Get Home, the album. Mm. And he was like, he was like, yo, I didn't the, the way he put it, he said, I knew that you sung, but I didn't know you you sung like that. He right. I think he thought that I was just more like a a hook man mm-hmm. and, a, and, a, and a rapper, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like, it was on from there. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, so just to touch on the album itself at the beginning of, right? Uh, yeah. You know, for those who don't know, it is pretty much like, you know, uh, uh, just a guttural expression or emotional expression of just uh, how rough of a year 2020 was. Tw- 2020, yeah. sorry, was, right? Uh, yeah. So, you know, the, the question I'm getting at is, you know, inspiration, you know, what was the inspiration uh, behind this record here? Uh, that's, that's a very good question. Um, when we, when we started, um, like I said, we started out with um, No More and Let's Get Married. And as, as, as we, the way, the way that the album came together, it, it was definitely not set up like, yo, we're gonna we're gonna write this concept album for 2020. It it it, 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 it was not that. We made records. We we decided early that we we were gonna talk about the the best way to put it. Sha said, um, not only being like a gang star and uh Pete Rock and CL Smooth. He said we were like a soul version of Public Enemy. 
Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He he said that early on and over a period of period of time, because like one of the first songs I did for him, he actually hit me back like, yo, I like what you did, but um I'm not really, I, I don't think that's the book, the vision, boom, boom, boom. And then when he listened to it again, he kind of caught it, but he let me know that like, I, I talk a lot about love, loss and relationships, but this, th as a group, like, we're going to talk about that, but we, we, we want to, um, we want to, we want to make it hot. We want to make it hot for these issues. Like, what can we do as a people? What can we do as a people and to get better, but at the same time, put it in a very, very soulful way, in a, in a soulful way, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a way that hip hop, true hip hop heads can appreciate it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, like, like myself. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 exactly. Because the thing about, the thing about hip hop heads is that you have, well, you have hip hop heads, this is die hard, die hard hip hop. But a lot of hip hop heads just turned into just music connoisseurs, period, to where they just appreciate soulfulness. And that's what that's what our thing became. So basically with the album, we never set out to say we're gonna make the um the conceptual album for 2020. It 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 it, it wound up being that way to where it was like we have to talk about COVID. We have to talk about um for george we have to talk about um um let, let's go back to who we are the soul powers we have to give praise to aretha franklin donnie hathaway and even even in that um i think i think that song is uh i think it's soul for you when i say and and it's donna layla i say she brings me to tears yeah that, that, that's that's all for you yeah which, yeah. we, which we're going to touch on, right? Because we're going to do a little track by track kind of uh, thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even going to say what I was about to say. But yeah, that um, it was um, it truthfully with with us together, it was uh to me, and I think he would feel the same. But it was a perfect storm. It was it was a perfect storm as far as um. Our, our work ethic when it comes to music and our ability to listen to each other. And he did his job and I did my job and we put it together and the Soul Powers album, the beginning of was created and released. And we have the great Matt Bailey saying that. He kind of <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, well, let's um, jump into the album itself, right? Uh, well, you know, there, there's, I'll, I'll begin with uh you know the uh first and currently only single from that um, record that would be uh COVID, right um yes. so you know outside of you know just that global impact of corona uh what was the inspiration behind that that particular song um and i mean in terms of you know kind, kind of speaking about it like oh there's a loved one who is in trouble who's suffering from it and we're praying yeah. and we're just hoping that this um this this individual comes out all right and you know it just kind of um you're more or less speaking from that uh, person's perspective right and sure the song yeah. it's like all right we're, we're we're looking at the progress all right it's back to normal okay i don't want to i don't want you to to, to to lose your life to covid you know hoping that you know this i just paraphrase in the chorus here right so um, yeah, 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 yeah 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 but, but yeah. i think that uh, wait but that's just sort of like a piece of the question itself because really about the inspiration behind the track um was it in, was it like um inspired by you know like a loved one of yours or of shy's who went through that same time um i would say i would say yes i would say yes and no because during during the whole um when covid hit at that time i can i can actually say the two people that i knew that i knew like really really personally that were affected. My my uh, my big brother uh, Charles Smith, who just had okay. a uh, who just had a birthday on the 14th. Happy birthday! Right. And my happy Billy my, <laughs> Yeah, my my cousin uh, Mary Givens. Both of them, out of my family and people that were close to me, were the only people who actually dealt with COVID. And 
she had a tougher time than my brother did. But both of them are both of them are, are doing great. They're doing fine. But when I got when I got the 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 track for that and decided to write about COVID, I I I, I purposely wanted to write a song because at that time it was that, that it, the whole thing was like how many people are dying per day how many people are dying per month how many and i was like okay yes i mean it's unfortunate that we have to deal with that you know you know um the, the fred the guy sons that that passed away from COVID and different people yeah. uh, R.I.P. To, to, to freddie god son by the way yeah yeah man yeah that was uh that was uh and i'm and i'm always reminded of that time because he 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 did a, a feature with uh goods the animal for his uh, ep and it was like i mean fred fred was fred was right there he was right there about to explode but um at that time it was so many people passing so many people passing and i wasn't taking that light and Sha wasn't taking it light but i was like from a writer's perspective, I was like, hmm, let me talk about the people that actually survived it, that went through it and survived it. Let me let me put that spin on it and like let's say um can only view isolation, damn shadow on voices. Like my whole thing was like, you went through it, but you survived it, you know. And and I think, I think as far as um energy negativity and positivity if, if if you constantly saying like oh man i'm down i'm down i'm down you're going to eventually stay down but if you say i'm down but i'm gonna get up eventually you're gonna get up so that 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 was the whole thing behind that was like okay let me let me this is a bad time right now let me give a spin on it maybe put some energy in the air to where we can look that this bad thing can be a positive because it's mm -hmm. a lot of people. It's, it's a lot of people that actually survived it too. That's that, yeah, and, and still are, and still are. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of people that. It's a lot of people. It's 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 unfortunate. It's a lot of people that die, but I think it's even more people that actually survived it. You know. Yeah. Um. Something else I was always meaning to 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 ask you, right? Uh, the music video, right? <laughs> um. You know, <laughs> with uh, shy being uh quarantine and him pretty much like going all yeah. of his mind and being bored and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, um, yeah. How, how did that video come about? I know you guys are in, you know, different places and whatnot, right? But it's really interesting just seeing how it just came together. Yeah, um, Shy, um, we, 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 we talked about it pretty much. All I, all I had to do was film my performance parts, you know what I'm saying? Um, singing the song. And, and and shout out my brother shot man i love my dude um he actually he actually bought he bought a gimbal he bought a gimbal and which for people that don't, don't know that don't know what a gimbal is a gimbal is basically it's a piece of equipment that you can put your phone in your camera and it stabilizes and it makes it where it's not shaking and anything he actually spent his own money and mailed that gimbal to me Cause he was like, man, oh, okay. this is, yeah, 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 yeah. He, 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 he spent his own money, mailed a gimbal to me. And we actually, that's what we shot with. We had the gimbal, we had my iPhone and we shot our parts, you know, with my iPhone. And then he shot his parts in Canada with, with, with his cameras. He had, he has more extensive cameras and all that, but basically all I had to do was go to different locations and film my my, my performance part. The um, the rest of, of him being in the studio, he was actually, at that time, he, that, that was the studio that he was renting out to do his stuff. And um, shout out my man, um, Dave, who was who actually helped him on that. And um, he just came up with it. He, his whole thing was like, yo, um, man, I, I got COVID. And I got to, and I got to, I, I had to quarantine myself, but a big part of it, which I think was dope for the video was that he said he had to quarantine himself. And then you see at the end of the video where he just runs into his wife's arm. It's like, mm -hmm. it makes you yeah. say like, it makes you say like, yeah, that true um, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Like you see how he ran to his lady and it was like, boom. And, and I actually got to meet his wife, Aaron in, um, 
Toronto when I went there and um and Eli his um his newborn son. So that was beautiful. Yeah. Nice, nice. And uh, I'm just I'm just asking, right? Um, just just out of curiosity, right? Um, we 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 got uh, one music video, right? Um, is it mm-hmm. just because of how you know difficult things were, you know, in in 2021 uh, for one thing? Um, because I was just kind of wondering in the back of my mind, like, how come you guys never made another yeah. uh, music video? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a great question as well. Um, we at at that time. We did we did the one video, but at the same time, Shy Shy is like, and he's still busy, but he was so busy doing um he actually he 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 produced a project, he he produced a song on um uh what's it, uh, Farrell Monts last um the the 13, I think I think that name of it was 13. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. I, I'll 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 seek that out. Yeah, I'm I'm a yeah. I'm a Ferro fan. I yeah, I, I, I yeah. call myself a Ferro fan, and yet I didn't even know that he had that album. Yeah, Ferro 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 has a he he has a group. Um, I think with with Daru Daru Jones, they I think they call himself Thirteen, and he had like a live band to to like do live stuff. And um, Sha did a song. I can't think of the name of, but he did a song. He did a song that was so prominent that. Pharaoh performed it on one of those late shows um, with Jimmy Kimmel or something like that. It was one of one oh. songs. Yeah, yeah. And Shy, Shy was so Shy, Shy was so busy and, and still busy now that we pretty much we did we did one video, we did one video, and then we were just trying to like, you know, still get back to what we was doing. But I will say that. We have a remixed album of the whole album coming, and we have multiple videos that's gonna come from that. And okay. we have, cool, yeah, cool, we cool. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, can't, can't wait, right? Uh, one one thing that I really do admire about um about about the beginning of sorry, is that even though it it does touch on you know twenty twenty and how much it sucked, it still had like you know your your typical your typical um soul songs basically right so yeah. you know tracks like um all make sense and not coming yeah. back right and yeah. um and uh well i was gonna say do it now and you know be all right but those are more motivational songs basically right but you know all make sense and not coming back right you know those two sort of like um story and emotionally driven tracks basically just kind of showing you know people's you know um that's how they view the will and whatnot, right? So all makes sense, just kind of touching on two individuals who didn't really have any guidance in life and they're just yeah. doing this thing to make money, right? So it all makes sense yeah. to them, right? And then that yeah. second track, Not Coming Back, um, you know, that that really hit for me, you know, where it's like you're just living life and, you know, it just reaches a point where you just can't be complete and you shouldn't be. It's like, you know, when I'm going, like literally like, you know, physically and in spirit, right? When, when you know, yeah. when, when you're dead or when you actually like leave your yeah. loved one and parents, like you're, you're not coming back. There's no reason to, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, just, just quickly, just um, how you... You know, that's the ideas behind um, those two songs. Man, I, thank you. See, that's that's why so much. That's why so much I wanted. Because I can, I can't. I think it's very lame for me or anybody to say, "Hey, man, hey, man, can you ask me these questions?" But you actually ask these questions, so thank you, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no. The re- re- reason being is because you know, you, um, yeah. uh, you know, we talk about conceptual labs, albums and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Now, you might think, well, wait, this has nothing to do with twenty twenty. What What's the point, right? But yeah. because it's about yeah. soul music, it, it feels I love it. real, you know. So yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. And 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 it's I love I love to be able to to answer questions that you know. Um, Cause I want somebody to see, like you know, I mean, I want you to enjoy it, but it's even better to say, "What did you have on your mind when you?" So mm-hmm. I was say- especially not coming back. Yeah. There was there was some emotion in that one. There was some. Oh ah. my god! And I, oh I my felt god. that. I, I I felt that every time I I hear that song, I feel. Like ah! That. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, well, I'm gonna start with um, I'm gonna start with all makes sense, and I'm gonna end with um, not coming back. All makes sense. Um, when Shy sent me the track. Um, whenever, whenever my writing process is literally is if somebody sends me a track, in this case, shy, when he sent, when he sent me the track, 
I let it play. I'll let a track play for 30, 30 seconds to 45 seconds. And I will instant, well, I can say instantly, but really quick, I will figure out like, oh, I know what to do with this. And then I put it away. I don't, I don't really, I don't drive around, listen, 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 give me a month. I hear it and I know what I'm gonna do. And when it's time to write it, when I sit down, like where, where I'm sitting right now, and I write in my car, but pretty much when I sit down right here and I want to complete it, I'm going to complete it. But I pretty much get the get the um, idea real fast. When I heard that track, melody wise, the track in which as an artist and writers, they know the music tells you what to write. When I when I heard that track, I was instantly transformed to um, Curtis Mayfield. <clears throat> I was it's like you know you know as you brought up that. Um, I believe I brought this up in my review. My uh, my review, sorry, it felt something out of like a black exploitation picture, like you know, super yes, fly, yes, right? Yes, you know, yes, it feels yes, exactly yes. like you're watching a scene of that layout. Yes, yes, yes. Um, when I heard it, and 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 on top of that, it was something that I've been. That's that, that's one thing I would say too. With a lot of music that I've done with Shy, a lot of things that I've done with him are things that in my head that I wanted to do and I've been actually able to, um, not saying I'm not gonna do it again, but I've been able to check it off my bucket list. I've, I've always wanted to sing a song where I was singing mostly falsetto because I'm a uh, natural, I'm a natural singer to, it goes to a falsetto and that song with it, daddy left the crib, I would say, he was about to, all that. It, it was like, I actually had a chance to do full verses in that tone. And um, yeah, um, when I wrote that, <clears throat> when I wrote that, it just hit me to, um, it just, the track told me to write about um, somebody who went through um, not having a father. I've been, I was fortunate to have my father there. You know what I'm saying? Um, my dad, my dad, um, my dad, my dad delved into street life, but his um his presence, it was times where my dad, and I'm being honest because I want to be honest to you and honest to the people who rock with me and rock with soul powers. Um it was times where he was gone for like two, two weeks at a time. Later on, I found out why, because of the streets. Mm -hmm. But he um his presence his love and presence was so strong that even when he wasn't there for those two weeks, I still felt him. And when he came around and, and he taught me, he taught me along with my mother how to love. Like to this day, like I, you know, I I I I tell a complete stranger that, hey, love you, bro, for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? Because I was taught love and compassion and, and humility at an early age. But um that song was like, I want to talk about somebody who totally didn't have that person, like you said. And if it makes a dollar, you know, sling, um, hit the block, sling a rock, do what he got to do. He said, that's the way life goes and all that. That person, I want to talk about that person that didn't really want to be there, but he had to be there. And then he actually had a friend that he grew up with who did the same thing. And I think one of the lines that stands out to me with that, on her own since age 13. And if she makes it out alive, it all makes sense. Like people are literally living, living day to day and hoping that they just get to the next day. Yeah, you know what I'm that, saying? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That that was that that was um I can't I can't sit here and say that I knew some I knew I knew plenty of people who was on the street, you know, you know, hustling and all that, but I can't say that I know these people like. Like we had a conversation. It was like it's the, the the subject was so broad. This covers the whole world. It's 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 many people that that can relate to being on their own since age thirteen and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And um, not coming back, man. Not 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 coming back. When I got that track, when I got that track, I actually I I wrote that song on one of my days off where I got up early in the morning and um I wrote it <clears throat> I wrote it 
And probably in the next couple of days from there, I, I went to Studio 903, which is me and DJ 110 at his place. Um, I recorded it and I sent it to Shy. And Shy's the type of person where you send him a song, the rough mix is gonna sound like a master. It's gonna sound like he's he's a he's a genius. You know, mm. he's he, yeah, he's um he's 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 an incredible dude. But when I wrote that song, I was actually dealing with certain things. Um, and I've never said anything about this publicly. I was dealing with certain things where uh, my, my family has always been close, always been close. And it was uh, a cousin of mine that, you know, she made it known that she felt some type of way. And I'm like, wow, I can't. And I just basically start looking at things like, wow, like, like people can take things and make it more than what it is and not realize that we, we, we're here for literally a split second and we and we can go. And when I did that song, I said, um, from the first verse, um, I was really let, letting people know that um, I go through. I go through, I go, I go, I've gone through, um, depression. Um, I've, I go, I, I go through the fact that I wanted kids and I don't have kids. That's why I said, um, no child, no, no girl, no, no, no son, no daughter, no, no nothing to remember me. Like I laid everything out to say, like, even though I'm the person that's going to encourage you always, and I'm gonna be the person that's going to be a positive light trust me i go through things and when i say the part um life ain't been the same since i bit since my big mama left me my my grandmother my mom's mom when she passed away she passed away september 10 1988 and what she taught me was two things was that um after after she passed away i made sure to start saying to people i love you and I'm like 13, 14, something like that. I made sure to say, I love you. I love you. And the other part of it was I became a loner. I became a serious loner. My dad is a loner by nature. I became a loner in the sense of it was hard, hard for me to go to um, family functions because I didn't want to see everybody sad. You know what I'm saying? So that song, um, I was really like laying it down like when I'm... When I'm out of here, I'm not coming back. So let's let's uh, love love me now. When I say love me now, I mean let's love each other now. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I and I, and I, and I literally, when Shy sent me the um, rough mix of that, I listened to it in my car, and I actually had a um, I had a uh, emotional breakdown where I cried my eye, my eyes out for like. Wow. Uh, five minutes, you know what I'm saying? It was like the, the what, like what you what you're feeling in that. How you say you feeling it? Like real the real talk. I was uh, uh, imagine what you was feeling. Um, double that. I was I was I was there, and 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 it was a release song that I needed to get out. You know, straight up. Right, I understand. All right, so let's get to a couple more optimistic. You know, more to the album, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Be all right and uh, do it now. So for one thing, be all right. I thought it was really interesting. Um, and you know, maybe you can mention it in you know um, the breakdowns of the songs, right? Uh, just those um, snippets, those vocal snippets that ch um, that shy uh, shy sorry um, chooses, right? Uh, DJ yeah. Premier, being yeah. the age that he is, still doing what he's doing. He's talking about you know we're gonna we're gonna you know get through we're gonna be fine i mean gonna yeah, still make great yeah. music right and having yeah. him open having those snippets open and close that song was brilliant though because it just kind of adds this yeah. ease you know i mean it, it releases that that tension off your shoulders right and whatnot right and you know um yeah you know it's just basically just just letting people know yeah it's gonna be okay it's really rough time suck mm -hmm. but you know we're gonna be fine right and then you mm -hmm. you more or less kind of touch on that again with do it now, but you do it more in a in a anthemic kind of way, you know. But you more or less what I really picked from it too was also that because of you know well the you know I, I mean it happened like in the 2010s and beyond, um, before that, but especially in this this decade now, 
uh, how we're able to reach out to various people all over the world. I mean, I'm from Trinidad. Yeah. You're you're in Atlanta. We're talking right now, yeah. right? It's just yes, the idea yes. that we could we could you know come together. You know what I mean? We could yes, work things yes, out, yes. right? So that's what I pick up from it. That that sort of anthemic kind of vibe for it. And uh, well, before we get to you know your um, just how you got uh, the inspiration behind the song. Sorry, um, those scratches at the very end. Perfect mm-hmm. choices, in my opinion, especially that five dog uh, with that right now. You know what I mean? Because I actually know the song yeah, from. Yeah, right? yeah, I was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. a very, that's a very DJ premier thing. You know what I mean? Because he just knows. Okay, I want this particular phrase. Where does that phrase come from? All right, this rapper said this. I'm gonna have that there. I'm gonna scratch that. You know what I mean? But just having those moments at the very end of do it now is just like a nice touch, man. So, yeah. Well, what were the inspirations behind those two songs outside of? Okay, we need to just have something more optimistic on the album. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll say this first, Matt. Um, I, that that's why um, I will. We we will continue, and hopefully, you gravitate more. Like, if you see something that we don't send to you, hopefully, you say, "Okay, I'm about to rate this right here. I'm about to critique the hell out of this." <laughs> I love, I love, I love the fact that like you are, and, and, and people that people that I've told about you. Um, before the 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 um the the number one revealing, and before that, I said this guy really is a music. Don't don't just say oh oh he's a critic. No, he's a music listener. Yeah, he really. I love he, that he, music listener. <laughs> yeah, he he really listening like and 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 um like you say about five dollars. Like a lot of people will know that. Just like the whole thing with um. Um, you that 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 you pointed out with uh, the Spike Lee, the Spike Lee. Um, yeah, what, what you're gonna get to? What you're gonna, yeah, gonna get yeah, to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. But um, okay, um, be all right. I tell you a little side story. Um, um, uh, Premier, Premier, and um, and Shy had have they actually have a um, friendship. They're, they, they, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I'm sorry, um, I, I've just always wanted to meet Primo, like in the flesh. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Who doesn't? Yeah, yeah. Who doesn't? Um, um. Well, I'll say like this. Um, Shy's, Shy's best friend, one of his best friends is Marco Polo. Um, really? D yeah, yeah. Marco Polo. Okay. D Marco. Yeah, D Marco okay. Polo. After, after Ace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 his um. That's his, both of them are from Canada. That's his best friend. Um, and um, Premier and Premier, matter of fact, um, um, real side, I'm going to say this real quick so I can get right to the thing. Um, Shy sent me a video of how, because Shy, Shy was actually shy. He was shy low for a long time. And people still call him that. He he, he really came out as an MC. Like Shy, Shy can rhyme. Like Shy can really, really rhyme like he, he can get busy and um and then he went into more producing but he showed me he sent me a video it was him primo and marco in the studio doing uh pr- premieres shady four shady four five show and um marco was like what well, premier was like yo anything you need man i can just hit up shy he can find it for me the record and then um Marco was like, yeah, Shy, that's Shy the Beat Yoda. He said it right there. And Shy took that name from that, from that show. So ah, no, 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 I know. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, he went from Shiloh to Shy the Beat Yoda on from on the spot. But um in saying that, be all right, be all right. That that part where um Primo, Primo um is saying that part. Um, Shy hit me up. He said, yo, I'm going to hit him up and see if it's okay. And I'll let you know. I didn't know who it was. And he hit him up. He actually pulled that part from the internet, from YouTube, to pull that part. You know, you know, we're going to be all right, you know, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he said, yeah, um, Primo said that. Matter of fact, Primo said, let me, let me hit a record first before I give you permission to use my voice. He heard be all right. Well, we're, we're we recording. He was like, yeah. You can use my voice, you know what I'm saying? And um, but the in, the inspiration for be all right was totally um inspiration for be all right was that doing during the 
quarantine, where we were starting to quarantine, there were a lot of couples who they they broke up, man. I mean, they they probably didn't like each other in the first place. Hmm. But this is this was like pretty much an anthem for you know what? We're gonna have to be in the same place and we're gonna have to be kind of around each other. But you know what? I'm good with you. I'm good with you. That's why when I say, oh, that's so and so, and he ain't real and he's a trick. Like, what's the deal? That ain't we. It's like my, my whole thing was like all that BS that they got going on out, out there, they can they they can keep it right there. We we're we're okay. You know, um, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right, regardless of what's happening. We're good in our relationship. That was that, 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 that song was a total inspiration, um, anthem and, and inspiration for people that have a very healthy relationship. Keep, keep, keep it healthy and stay together, you know? Okay. Um, and, uh, do, do it now, um, I know it kind of speaks for itself, right? But you know, just yeah. what what inspired you to do do it now? Man, do it now, man. Do it now is totally that. You know, racism racism um, is 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 alive and well. Racism is is alive and well in America, in the world. Um, but at the end of the day, you can. You, you, you can hate my color, I can hate your color and all that stuff, but we actually went through something um, that had, it, it, it didn't matter if you was black, white, red or whatever. It's like, you know what? At the end of the day, we need to work together to figure these things out. And if, and, and, and if we don't do it, if we don't do it now, we don't do it now it's going to be it's, it's going to be too late like we we were actually faced and we're still faced with a situation where if we don't work together and come to um a common bond man we can we 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 we, we really can damage our families our friends and generations to come it's like this this is something that we got we, we have to look past of how we feel about race how we feel about uh, religion and stuff we got this is this is survival now that's why i say do it now we got to do it now man so this is yeah uh, yeah because yeah. because tomorrow tomorrow and and i don't even say the next second is not promised the next second is not promised so let's figure this thing out do it now that's right that's right yeah all right so uh you know three of my favorite tracks are coming so uh first okay. off uh so for you um all right, so what 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 drew me in instantly was that beat, right? And I am still mm-hmm. in awe of how amazed you were that I picked up on it, right? You know, um, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, because well, I'll just tell like a little story as well, right? So, um, okay. you know, you were amazed at the fact that I picked up on the fact that it was you know the beat was inspired from. Um, I'm not sure what the name of the actual piece is, right? Um, I know it's Terrence Blanchard, I believe it is. Yeah, did the score yeah. for that film, right? Uh, do the right thing, right? Uh, but the yeah. year before, in 2020, um, I actually did a review of that film with a few of my friends, uh, one who resides in the States now, um, of that film, right? And the funny thing is, is that I was going to do a uh, 30th anniversary, right? That would be for 2019. But mm-hmm. at the time, I was like, well, that was 1989, you know, another number, another summer. Um, yeah. Yeah, we know it's a classic, but it doesn't really make any sense talking about it now, you know? And then yeah. George Floyd happened, right? And legit, I had an idea, like I was going to talk about another film, actually, uh, another anniversary review at, at that time. And on that same week when, you know, uh, I believe it was a Tuesday when he was murdered, right? And yeah. just yeah. seeing the side effects of it all, you know, the, the, um, the, um, the rallies and all that kind of stuff. It's when I saw what happened in Atlanta, do, and Killer mm-hmm. Mike literally coming and telling people, yo, y'all needs to go home. That was when I was like, okay, this is this is real now. And you know, like eventually, about a week yeah. or so later, we had similar protests in, in, in Trinidad. It didn't go as 
extreme. I don't want to use the word extreme. It didn't go as you know heightened as as you know how it was in the, in the states, right? But point is, yeah. like on that same weekend, I actually did a review of uh, Do the Right Thing, and I was just thinking about, well, wow, like just what Spike was talking about in that film back in 1989 yeah. still resonates today, right? So yes. the moment when I heard that beat off of um, of Soul for You. I uh, mm-hmm. just remember in that same scene with the police car and you know the the guy inside watching the three old men and that guy like what a waste <laughs> and yeah, then one of the yeah, guys yeah, like oh yeah. why we were so really interrupted by by New York's finest right and then just yeah, go yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. talking right yeah, I, yeah, I know the scene yeah, I know yeah. the movie right yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so just hearing that 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 beat worked right but what I loved about it though is that it was like in the movie the context of the movie it was sad it was bluesy right it was you know mel- yeah, uh, melancholy yeah. right but here um shy just tuned it into something triumphant right and then you came yes. in and you know you're paying tribute to you know soul like um soul music icons right and it just yes. it just does a complete 180 into the emotion and last thing last before we get to you know the inspiration behind that um that rule call though ah man first time i heard it wow <laughs> mind <laughs> Blown. Yes. I, I just thought that, you know, the, the do the right thing reference was just going to stop at the beat, right? But then yeah, yeah. we that's, got to that's that, that rule call, enough, bro, right? and I was like, I, I, I'm loving this album. I'm, I'm loving this. This is not, this is not my first <laughs> listen, by the way, but I'm just loving yeah. this. I, I don't know. I don't know so much. But yeah, wow. um, <laughs> how, how did you. this track happen? Thank how did this track happen? Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, Well, I will say this right here. Um, Shy, Shy is a serious, serious, serious movie buff as well. Nice. He's a, <laughs> yes, he's a, he's a, he's a sheer, serious movie buff. Um, him and his guy, um, man, oh god, his last name Howard. I can't think of his first name right now. But they actually, he said for years, for over a decade, every Wednesday night, him and his um, Bill, Bill Howard. Shout out Bill Howard uh, up in Canada, one of his best friends. Every Wednesday night, they have movie night. They have movie night where they sit down and they watch a movie. Um, Shy told me that um, Do the Right Thing is his favorite movie of all time. Straight up. Wow. Like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he, um, he sent me that track. He sent me that track. And um, I think, like, early on, early on, he... Um, Cause he never, the only thing that Shy told me as far as like recording wise was that the first track I did, I did a one take, send it to him. And he said, okay, well, since we're not in the same room, can you do like three takes of each verse so I can have something to choose from? And he said, I don't mind like picking and, you know, dissect. And I said, okay, cool. But he would send me something and I would just go for my feel and boom, he sent me that track. And like I say, the music tells me what to sing. And for, for whatever reason, I said, Mama told me, get your, Mama told me get your soul right before I leave here. I said, I'm listening to Donnie, so please have no fear. So I'm playing, and that's to, for me, that's my hip hop background to where I'm saying, Mama told me get my soul right, using that as a metaphor before I leave here. I said, I'm listening to Donnie, which is Donnie Hathaway. So please have no fear. Like I'm in good hands. I'm listening to some of the greats in there. Then his daughter Layla, I say she bring, which Layla is Donnie's daughter. Um, his daughter Layla, I I say she brings me to tears every time I hear her. Okay, a little side note to that part. His daughter Layla, I say brings me to tears every time I hear her. I see you in the mirror. Side note to that is. My ex-wife, um, she loved Layla Hathaway, and that was a part of me putting into um, bringing up my old past about. Because when I hear okay. Layla, when, when I hear Layla, not saying I, I'm ready to be back with my ex-wife. Mm, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, much much respect, love her to death. But when I hear her, it brings me back. Boom, boom, boom. So, but um, but today I feel like Marvin. Like, what's going on? Makes me think about the good times when I hear that song. Oh, this song is just three minutes, but oh, it was totally like, how can I put this song in a way to where it's not corny? And it pays respect to the greats. Um, the part about 
I need uh, uh not Aretha Franklin singing when things were out of control. Um, Sha actually told me that that part broke him down because oh. Aretha, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said because Aretha, Aretha, what people don't talk about a lot about Aretha Franklin. Not only is she's arguably the greatest voice, not just soul voice, but one of the greatest voices of all time. Uh, Anita, uh, um, I keep saying Anita, Aretha Franklin was on the front lines of uh, social justice as well. You know what I'm saying? And um, of course, James Brown. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was like I say, he, he basically sent me the track and I knew where, by that time, I knew where we were. We, we were the, uh, the gang star, the Pete P- Rock CL Smooth, the public enemy, the soul powers. How can we make this up? So by that time, I, I knew to, I knew my subject matter where I need to put certain things. And um, that um, I can think about you all the time. Might be a dark cloud, but we're going to shine. I think about my love affair when I sing, when I'm writing this rhyme, paying, paying homage to the singers and the people that pin and pad and rap, you know, it's all sold. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that that hook though, um, still one of my favorite hooks. Sorry, still is my favorite hook on on that album, right? Um, really? I, yeah, it is this. Uh, it does hit wow. me so much, right? And I I take it that um that that outro was all Shy's idea, right? The outro, mm. the um the, the Black Lives Matter. No, no, no. I, I'm talking about of uh, Soul for You. That 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 uh, rule call with all. Oh all yeah, that. yeah. Oh. That, that's all his idea, right? Yeah, that that well that was um. When we started, yeah, it, it was his idea, and, and, and we came up, um, we actually, I was, the job I was working, I had my earphones on, and um, we actually came up, we, we was on the phone, like, I was working, like, three o'clock in the morning, and we was doing a roll call of, like I say, the hip-hop cats, the soul cats, and he was, he he had he had a list going, and he was like, what you got? And I'm like, um, the fat boys. Uh, so and so Houdini, uh, blah 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 blah. We 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 did we did all that together. We did all, we did all that all that together. Um, the the um the speech where where he said if you want to get on drop a dime. So, so, so. <laughs> I I actually I actually came up with those skits. I would literally I would go to the bathroom and you know because I didn't want to be on the floor and not you know they'd be tripping about me not working. I go to the bathroom, come up with something, boom, boom. I send it to him, and that and that that part uh, about um, they took my stimulus check. That's me. That's that's <laughs> changing my voice. <laughs> mm. But yeah, yeah, we 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 came up we came up with that together. Um, yeah, we put a lot of stuff. We put a lot of stuff together to make that make that work. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah. Put it down. Um, th- this was a track that uh, caught me by surprise. Um, I'll confess it, it took about a couple of listens for me to really get what was going on because at first yeah. glance it may come off like you know oh it's just you know um, a, a, a white cop sees a black couple and wants to start trouble but you know mm-hmm. it's like when you dive in and you realize though it's actually well the you know the, the guy in the couple itself um, just feeling a kind of way you know I mean with this officer and you know it's just yeah. knowing about the you know well you know the situation not even in 2020 but long before then right and him yeah. literally just having a meltdown and just how you were able to convey that in the last uh, final seconds um, still gives me chills when you just hit those high notes uh, wow 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 um, also wow. that that Georgie Porgy um, sample yes. um, like yeah that 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 song yeah. though um I imagine you, you well, it, it's kind of interesting though because that song is always about, um, or, or I mean, like I'm, I'm thinking about the MC Light version where it's like, oh, you know what I mean? Jersey yes, yes. was this good guy and he just did a yeah. lot of dumb things and now he's dead, right? Literally, he got AIDS, right? Um, yeah. So, you know, it always had like a melancholy vibe to it now. So mm-hmm. was it that that, you know, um, inspired you to uh, make this song? Actually, actually, um, that... Um... That song was actually, um, Shy and I have a, a we, we, we're going to uh, hopefully rekindle it um, later. We have a thing, what we call um, the B-Boy, B, um, B-Boy, B-Boy Soul Sessions. We did a, uh, we did a cover of, uh, our own cover of Bonita Applebaum, 
in a soul power's way. I don't know if you ever heard that. You ever heard that? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to send that to you. I'm gonna say we did our version of Bonita Alpha Bomb, and we actually have uh, I Need Love uh, with uh, I Need Love LL, but I changed it to a singing song. And that that particular song was we 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 were trying to figure out like what what are some tracks that we can kind of like take from hip hop like the greats of hip hop records and then flip it into our own. Um, George, Georgie Porgy was one of my favorite records that um, my man DJ 110 used to have the instrumental of it and I used to rap to it. Mm -hmm. I used to rap to it all the time. I used to, we used to make our little tapes and I told him, I was like, yo, I love that um, poor, that, that poor Georgie. Uh, I love that. And he sent me that track. He sent me that track. So I was like, okay. And like I say, I listened to it. And I, like I say, I knew the direction where we was going as a group and our subject matter. And it just, it just hit me to talk about um, basically, because um, during that time it's all the civil unrest and cops and this and that. So I wanted, I wanted to give, I wanted to give a lighthearted, heavy story. I wanted to give a light. Oh, I like that. I, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lighthearted, heavy story in, in the means that I say, I, I talk with my hands. So these are questions that I'm asking her. Like, basically, I'm letting, like, we had a point to where we had to say, well, the reason why I'm moving my hands, I'm not doing anything to hurt nobody. So please don't shoot. But I'm just talking with my hands right now. And I made it light in the sense that the cop that was looking at us really was like, damn, that looked like East Smitty from the Soul Powers. And I just want to get his autograph. And we laughed about it. Yes, but you know, going out, I was just saying, like, you know, hey, um, forgive me for for how I reacted, but it's a lot of us that's getting killed, like because of because of what the, the way we look. Um, the part why I said um, when I'm talking, I said um, I said the dude called the cops. The cops show up and he gets killed. Like that's that's a true story that happened in Texas where. This guy actually sees a fight at a store and he and, and um he calls the cops. The cops get there. He goes up to shake the cop's hand, say, thank you for getting here. And the cop shoots him and kills him. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a true story. <laughs> so that's so so um yeah, the the, the the whole premise of that was like I say, a light hearted, heavy story in the sense of Man, we we we're we're really we're really dying out here for 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 no reason. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying, so I'm saying, I'm saying put it down. Like it's not I don't have a problem with people having weapons to protect themselves, but using your weapons unconscious unconsciously and like just you quick to just kill somebody. I'm not with that. I'm not with that. You know, I'm not with that at all. Right. All right. And uh La well, somewhat last but not least, but you know, there's the ultra that you mentioned, right? Uh, yeah. for George, man, um, which you know yeah. still hits me in the guts, uh, every time I hear it. Um, yeah. actually, like you know, recapping you know, the these albums for my year endless, um, hearing that song again, you know, like you know, it's, it's a tune I, I, I love to use, you know, it just brought the man tears out to me, but I, I, just, yeah. I just felt it, man, you know, um. It's not just so much about the topic itself. It's not just about how you convey it as well, right? It's just those yeah. last musical moments, though, where it's just instrumental. You know, you, you just that. So in my review, where I talked about, you know, you guys were just channeling those those spirits, right? That's what mm -hmm. I meant. I meant, and like in just those final moments, you could just feel the soul, but you could also feel yes. that 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 emotion, where just like, you know, you you dream, you dream because of what you've yeah. been you know what 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 you've um heard now you know so just hearing yeah. those, those last bit of seconds boy just mm, hits me yeah. but yeah, yeah um yeah. i mean i mean it's kind of obvious but you know you can just let the audience know um yeah how how, how did this come about uh, for george that's um and it, you know it's 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 definitely a story to that um when i um when i um wrote that song truthfully 
And this is something that, like I said, you're the first one to, to get it and people will hear this. Um, like me, um, because, you know, through Shy, like Marco, like I'm, I'm cool with Marco too. I'm cool with Marco. And um, I had actually got some um, instrumentals. He had, he had some um, rare instrumentals that wasn't out that he was like, you know, selling on, selling on his, uh, or you can purchase them on his um, website. And I got, I got some instrumentals from him. During that time, this was like a week after George Floyd got killed. I was very much on edge because like uh, a, a true core of me, I'm very much with um, social justice. I knowledge yourself. It, it, it didn't have, it didn't take, converting to any type of religion, but I started gaining out of yourself as a black man when I was like 17 through through hip hop, you know, a lot through hip hop. And so I've been on the front lines of this is not right. I'm, 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 I'm fighting this thing. And when when George Floyd got killed and everything that was going on around me, I was on the edge. I was up very much on the edge to where I, I, I probably could have done something that would have changed my life to this day and not in a good way. Not in a good right. way. I was ready. I was ready. To, I was ready to do something. I was ready to do something, and that something was going to be probably really bad because of my anger. So I, um, I was at work, and I actually recorded, and I, and, and I have that version somewhere. I actually recorded for George over uh, a Marco Polo beat first, and I sent it to Shy. And Shy heard it, and he was like, "Man, like we trip, like me and Marco are tripping. Like I need to make something for us." So Shy went it. Shy went in the lab and came up with another beat. Boom, matched it up. But I, I really that that whole that whole song, truthfully, um, from that that was uh, it's, it's other songs now. But that was the first song that if 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 you if you were familiar with uh, East Smitty's music and who I'm associated associated with, you never heard me well like that and like just almost like I'm 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 belting I'm belting everything got that song was totally when you hear me um, when you hear me belting like that that was my anguish that was my tears. That was um, we're not. That was my. We're not gonna go back to this bullshit no more. Enough is enough, and I'm willing to die to see that this doesn't happen. Um, the second verse, I actually, um, I actually felt the spirit of uh, of George, and, and I, it may it, it's gonna sound crazy to other people, but I felt the spirit of George Floyd. That's why I was like, I became George Floyd, like. I'm, I'm, I'm not down, not no pressure. Say you will, but I can't breathe. I'm trying to all that, all that willing. I became, I became George Floyd. And when I talked about his mom, like, son, come on home now. Like, you know, it's almost like the blessing of having a camera phone and social media was our gift. Cause like they killed this man on camera they killed him they killed him on camera and and they've done that for years hundreds of years but because of social media and because of camera phones and because of people who have who have empathy because before that you could easily say oh he was being just dis disruptive and stuff but you didn't have the camera to see a man putting a knee to somebody's neck for close to nine minutes you you can you can you can press against your throat like that barely and it feels uncomfortable so imagine if somebody has their knee on your your throat who weighs 180 200 pounds so that song the whole inspiration of that was let me do something to keep from going to prison and let me do something that's con constructive to where i can make a point and, and get my anguish out and it turned it, it turned into something that um that I'm I'm very I'm very proud of I'm very I'm very proud of that it can be played it can be played that makes a point it's 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 not no bullshit it's like a real it's a real song and like you said like you said it's 
And, and you think it, it's it's a it's a hard song to get. I I've had grown men call me and said, I cried, I yeah. cried, <laughs> I, I cried like listening to that. I cried because, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's to even think about it now is is um, it's tough. It's tough, but I had to get it out, man. I, it was going to either be that. Or something else, and you probably won't be sitting. We won't be sitting down having this interview right now. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so as you brought up the ultra, um, I, I really have to touch on the ultra, right? And you know that will be it as yeah. far as you know covering covering this album, right? Uh, State yeah. of emergency. Um, you know, again, you know, just recapping the album and just getting all these feels. Um, no lie, when because you know when I when I heard the ultra, you know, I was just kind of digging that that um that that you know that beat in the background and you know the mm-hmm. scratches and all that kind of stuff you know i was appreciating that right but you know just hearing it again you know me before i did my year endless by um yeah couldn't help it man it, it, it was it was it was all out man because it's just really? so emotional by just that yes, beat, beat is, in the background man. right uh, i mean the yeah. scratches i love and all that though but it's just that beat in the background is so so moving by uh but you know you want to know what's the moment that's Still hits me like every time. I, already I, know. I, I think I know. I think I know. It's I think I know. John Boyega. I need to get because I actually saw that video, boy. Um, which was I think it was about a couple of weeks or so after George Floyd's yeah. death, though. Yes. And yes. just that yes. that choice some moment though, because I know this was a moment where he was at the megaphone and like he was like bursting yes. into tears. Now, you know what I mean? Yes. And hearing it there in that in that moment on yes. that outro. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. When he said, yep. Yep. when he said, when he said, when he said, black lives has always mattered. Like it's like it, you know, and the, the the way that the way that he said that, he said it and believed it, but yep. he was still he was still he was still saying it in a sense of, listen to me. I want to like. I want to reaffirm to you, black lives have always mattered. Y'all and y'all know it too, mm-hmm. but. But and then he said, "I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting." Yes. So, man, look, 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 shy, shy, and a, a little, a little side story about that too. A little side story about that too. Um, I said a couple of times, um, I wasn't disputing the record, and then, but eventually, shy was like, "Yo, man." You know, you, you, so, I mean, I'm, he said, everybody I play this record to, like, they're, they're, they're going crazy about it and stuff. And he was thinking that I didn't want the record, but what I was telling to him is that, and I didn't realize that it was already in there. My thing was that it seemed like it was just, what, what I wanted to make a point to him was, and which it was already there, is that, it's not black. It's not just only us black people on the front lines of this injustice. There's white people. There's Asian people. There's um, Chinese people. There's different people that are there. You know, this is not just. It's, it's going to take all of us to get this shit together. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, "No, nah, it's there." And I was like, "Yeah." I said, "I hear. The, I, I hear it's there, but I, I want you to know that." It's gonna take all of us. And when I sat back and listened, like my bad, I didn't, I didn't hear all of that. But to hear my man, the um, the actor, when he said what he said, it was straight, it was straight up like, no matter what, he was ready to give up everything. For yeah, yeah, it, it sounded like legit. He was going to, uh, like. I mean, because I know his stuff with Star Wars is done technically. Yeah. But yeah. it was like, you know what? To hell with my career. I I just need to to yes, let you know yes, about yes, it. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, exactly, exactly. And that's and that's like um, that's like the epitome of and I, and I remember when he did that. I didn't see the actual speech, but I remember when he did that and on on online, they had um different people from Hollywood was like, no, it's no worries about his career and all that stuff like. Yeah, you know, blah blah blah. But yeah, I'm the I'm the I'm the same way. I still I still get chills from hearing that. I when well, he said I ain't waiting, I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, and, yeah, and also yeah. um before I forget, there was a little um a little comedy sketch that that sorry, a performance yeah. that takes place 
I, I have no clue who the guy is, but I always felt like that that moment was just pure irony and it, it, it just totally works so because yeah people yeah. do believe that you know yeah yeah that, the, the one where he's talking about um when he said um when they say all lives matter mm-hmm. and then he said he talks to his wife said what what if i tell you oh i love everybody you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah yeah mm-hmm. he, he made he made a he made a great point like i say shy shy pulled these things for that record that's a specific record he pulled those things. I don't know where he got them from, but he just that's that's him. That's his that's his mind. Yeah, it, it, it's it a it's a very um DJ Premier kind of thing, right? Because you know, even yeah. for guys like me, you know what I mean? We we hear little snippets like where you got that from, where you got that from, and then you you just hear yeah. it in a rap song, oh shit, that's where you got it from, you know. Yeah, and 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 personally, um, like Primo is like the GOAT. I think I think Shy goes um and and because you know. Primo is that he gonna cut up those the right things to say, you know, for the for the for the hooks. Shy does that too for this particular record. That record in in, in particular, the outro. I mean, he's playing a whole over over that instrumental. He's playing a whole like this comedy sketch that's making sense. That's making sense. That's making sense in that. So, um, all people get up and let's all, yeah, all let's, people let's, let's, united, black people all unite and let's all get down. Yeah. yeah, 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 and um, it makes so much. Oh man, it's it's, it's so power, powerful. Yeah. I and and say, I really, really love how old school it feels, right? Um, especially yeah. those scratches, you know, in in the, in the chorus, yeah. And whatnot, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that that's why I keep drawing. You know, that's why I made reference to to gangster and uh Pete Rock and yes. Smooth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, and you write about that. You write about that, Matt. When when I when I hear that song, it when, when it goes to that um. To like where, where he pl- he's playing the skits, it's like ooh. Yes, ooh. yes, yes. That that's the back end instrumental. That see, like yeah. when I heard it for the you know umpteen time, ah, tears, you know, you know. Yeah, it's like it's 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 like it's like you, it's like when when it gets to that part, you like, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. And then that soul then, comes in. So like, ooh, da, 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 mm. the old people unite, and then yeah. you turn. And you turn, you turn, you t- as a black man, you turn to this white dude over here, or this white woman over here, or this Chinese person, this Indian person, this Jamaican person. You say, "Yo, we together, we we together." You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what, that's what that is. Mm. That's what, yeah. and I'm sorry, I'm sorry you got no, me excited. No, no, that, that, that's okay. Yeah. But you know, I, that was yeah. all, that was how I felt. You know, the first few times when I when I heard that that outro, but just in that one moment, do you know, be the in yeah. preparation, you know. It was just all that emotion that just came out of that one track. Oh you know, my that, god! That, that's oh, what man. I love about it so much. Um, it, it's it's a brilliant way to, to end that album off, right? And if we could just say one last thing before before we we close off, right? Um, that I mean, mean, can I, yeah. Can that, I can I ask can I sure. ask something real quick? Um, we actually um that that actual instrumental for the remix album, we actually have a song that. We're gonna use part of that. All people unite, and this. I actually did a singing song where I wrote a new song to that. So that's oh, coming. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's actually gonna tie in back to my year in year endless story, right? Um, yes. That Nina Simone sample that opens, you know, the album, and it shows mm-hmm. up at the very end of Four George, right? You know, like I, I mean, I love Neil Simone, but I, I honestly didn't know where that sample came from. And then mm-hmm. I saw a particular movie, which I remember I, I spoke to you over Instagram. I told, I recommend you check out called Sum of Soul or When the Revolution Cannot Be Televised, directed yes. by Questlove of all people, right? Um, yes. Yeah, and there was there was that there was that that moment right there. It wasn't the entirety of it all, but there was that moment right there. I saw it for myself. I was like wow mm. okay like i know you know shy didn't you know um see the I, i'm not sure if you saw the film prior but i know it's it's on youtube right but just the mere fact that that clip needed to a movie like that right yeah i don't know for some like you know and just that that movie and all too uh just just touched on something emotional for me as well right um especially yeah. with you know the black experience and black struggle and all that kind of stuff so it, it it's kind of funny at the same time but it kind of makes sense that you know i have some of Soul as, as my favorite movie of 2021, right? So uh-huh, uh-huh, it's like, uh-huh. you know, a, a new wave of consciousness, right? So I have this as my favorite album of 2021, and that movie is my favorite of 2021, too. So amazing. Hey, amazing. But, but they, we really, amazing. really work together, though. You know what I mean? And it's all about soul music at the end of the day. So 
Look at that. Yeah. And yeah. you know, and I I add to that. Um, shy shy is like shy is very very much in tune with. Um, he's not um, he's not out here front man. Like his 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 love his love for us the people his love for uh, humanity in itself. But right specifically for black folks is. Um, He's he'll 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 go to battle. He'll go to battle and lose right. it all for it. So yeah, and he's he's very much in tune with uh what's going on. Cause like I said, I didn't I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I know I know Nina Simone, but I, I never heard it like when when I heard it was when I heard it, like he put it together and it's like I'm like, I knew that was Nina Simone, but I was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is incredible. So yeah, he's um it's not a game. It's not it's not a game with him, it's not a game with me. Um we are we are the mighty, we are the mighty soul powers, like for real, for real. And I don't say that in an arrogant way. I think we we have something very special and it's and it's a lot more to come. So yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna make that I'm gonna lead into my my final question here, right? Uh so you know the future of the soul powers, right? Um because I, I know for sure it's not just going to be about social issues, right? You're going to do some mm-hmm. soul stuff. You're going to talk about love. You're oh, going to yeah. talk about life and all that kind of stuff, right? So yeah. what can um, listeners expect with uh, the new album, the upcoming album from the Soul Powers? The, the, the new album is um, tentatively, it's going to be called um, So What Now? Like, hence... The beginning of, so what now? Like oh, okay, up. I understand. Like like you've reached a point now, so it's like yeah. yeah. So so now what do we do? Yeah. What 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 do we do? What do we do? Um, and like like um, I think I I think I told you we have uh, at least forty to fifty songs in the stash. Like that, I mean we we have songs talking about keep your problems to yourself talking about couples we got let's get married we have homecoming and I, I know i'm saying names but when i say this i'm talking of um i put it to you like this um the beginning of happened to turn into a concept album that we put together um but the soul powers are definitely about that but the soul powers got some shit that's gonna make your ass get a hump in your back on the dance floor too where you nice. <laughs> yeah yeah we yeah. we we have we have that we we have that um the soulful conviction man well okay second album tentatively calling um um so so what now uh me and shot talk the other week i i gave him a list of 10 songs and he's coming up with 10 songs and we're gonna kind of put it together but at the end of the day um the best, the best is, the best is yet to come. Um, I, I, I really feel like what we do, there, there, there is, there is no ceiling. There, there is no ceiling. There is no song out of that 40, 50 that we have in the stash that sounds alike. Nothing sounds alike. Very soulful. We uh, unknowingly pay homage to Kango from UTFO. Oh, nice, not, nice. Not, uh, well, not, not, well, yeah. I, was, I was I was gonna do a rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. Um, that was actually um, Sha said that that was the first Roxanne, Roxanne, Roxanne. He said that was the first hip hop record that he ever heard, and we paid uh we paid homage to him on a song we got called Love Love Comes in Twos, and we got a um, we got a song where I'm actually rapping rapping and singing like in the same kind of kind of tone called um, Indeed where he scratches up i can sing rap dance in just one show because uh can't go he, he he like that so we pay homage to him unknowingly that he was going to pass away and a little side note too we the we were going to w- release the um in the beginning of a week earlier but when mf doom passed away oh yeah we uh 
Yeah, we which, put it off. Which was a really sucky way to end 2020, right? Oh, man, mm-hmm. man, man, man. I, I don't I, know. I, 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 just, I just sat home and just listened to, to MF Doom instrumentals, you know, the Secret Blend stuff. That, that was just me until, you know, Incredible. fireworks went off outside. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if you've seen it and not to get a, a shameless plug to um, MC Search has a podcast thing where he said, um, did you hear the story of Blah blah blah. You know, he, I I am listening to that right now because um, how I found out uh, about it was his um, you know, the Big Daddy King. That was the the first season. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah, actually listening good. to it right now. Um, no no lie, I'm yeah. I'm actually speaking truth here. I've now reached the epilogues. That's the final episode where everybody's gonna do their yeah their, yeah their final shout yeah. out there, rest in peace and whatnot. Yeah, I'm actually gonna yeah. listen to it tonight actually before I before I clock it. But yeah, I, I'm Is glad it? that you knew about that too. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, and, and that's and that's the thing, you know. To add to who we are as a soul power, we we are a, a a soul a soul group who who is entrenched in hip hop as well. Like, you know, we like the, hence the roll call. The roll call was a, a mix of hip hop icons alive and that's passed away, and soul singers. I mean, because I mean, hip hop um, derived from soul and disco. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yeah. And 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 hip hop is the is the I feel the only genre that you can put any genre of music and make hip hop with. You can put classical, country, um, gospel, whatever. You can make hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, man. Um, overall, over, overall, man. Um, we're here to bring the next album. I don't know when it's coming. The the remix album is coming first. The remix album is coming first. Hopefully that'll be, I don't know when, but it'll be hopefully soon. And then um just know we have, we have, we got, we got, we got some stuff in store, man. We got, we got some, we got some stuff in store, brother. Nice, nice, nice. And yeah. you know, I, I for one can't wait. So, you know, I'm I'm excited as hell, man. All right. Well, well, as as I normally do when I, you know, have these um uh, when when I do my podcast, sorry. Um, I always ask the, the other person to, you know, to plug themselves, you know, basically let people know where they can be found online, right? Um, I mean, you all yeah. know where you all could find me, right? Just look at the description oh, of yeah. this video here, right? But uh, E, this is your your time to shine. So, yeah, let people know where they can find you and particularly where can people um, find uh, the Soul Powers album? Man, um, well, my name is um, E. Smitty. You can find me at... Um, E dot Smitty, that's E dot S M I T T Y number one. E Smitty number one. Just put the, the um the number one. Boom. And on, on IG, on Instagram, um Soul Powers is that's that at the Soul Power. T-H-E-S-O-U-L-P-O-W-E-R-S. I'm glad I didn't mess that up. But uh <laughs> but you can find us there. Uh, we, we are available on all streaming platforms, um, iTunes, um, Deezer, uh, <clears throat> Spotify, you name it. We have video, we have COVID video on YouTube. Um, the soul powers, the soul powers, straight up. That's it. Nice. Nice. All right. Yeah. Well, Mr. Smith, uh, thank you so much for, for coming true, man. This is my thank first you. interview, right? So I'm actually talking to, you know, an artist. I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> Yo, I didn't, I didn't know that. I, you, you said that earlier. I didn't know that this was your first interview, bro. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, cause normally, I didn't know that. Um, yeah. Cause normally with my show, it's just, we talk about, uh, you know, um, albums and movies, right? It's just stuff that we were familiar with, but this is like the first time I'm actually like, having a one-on-one with, wow, <laughs> with, a, wow, with a musical wow. artist, man. So, yeah. Wow. I'm honored. I'm honored. I'm honored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Big things, man. Big things. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm yeah. hoping the same thing for you and to Shy as well. I know Shy can be here, but, yeah, you know, uh, salute to, 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 to Shy, man. You just outdid yourself uh, beat-wise and this concept-wise, man. You know, it's just, yeah. uh, you know, it's yeah. just the mere fact that you, you hooked up with E and did this project, right? So, Wow. It's amazing, man, and 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 I want to say in closing, man, that um, you know, to anybody that's listening to this, um, um, you know, a lot of people question themselves about who they want to follow, who they want to listen to, and blah blah blah. I would speak for myself about Matt Bailey, and I'm not saying that because he did a, a, a favorable um, critique of my solo record, um, other records, and the Soul Powers. I say this because. 
there's a difference between passion and I'm just doing it. And this brother right here is 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 passionate and passionate enough to where I know if he calls out some, I'm gonna look at myself like, hmm. I, I think no, no, it has to be something really, really bad for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, yeah I, I listen. I listen to this guy, man. And but I, but but to the people that's listening, man. If you're an artist, if you want somebody to really sit down and and and, and, and truth be told, if it's bad, that's not on you. It's it's on us. <laughs> it's on us. It's on us. So, but if you want somebody who's going to actually listen to your to your stuff and i say that because i know that first and foremost because of the critiques he's done on on, on our behalf it ain't just oh that's this this a hot record i think we can play that in the club and oh to the next no hmm. he's breaking it down you want yeah, somebody yeah, back. yeah so, yeah, so like, like, like i like i don't react I, I'm, I'm not a reaction guy like i like uh, i did it uh, once uh, before but you know that was for uh you know uh that was just for, for a random mixed day, basically, right? But I'm not that yeah. guy who just kind of sits down like, wow, this, I just listened to this full album in one yeah, go yeah. and look at me, Will, I listened to an album in one go. I'm like, all right, I listened it once. I'm going to give it a few more times. I'm really going to dive in into what's going yeah. on here and, yeah. you know, use my film moody mindset and try to envision things like I'm watching a, a, a soundtrack come to life. That That's my secret. I kind of look at things yeah. like, okay, I'm, I'm watching like a film being played out basically, right? Uh, that's yeah. why I picked up on you do the right thing and all that kind of stuff, right? But yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah it, it's just, uh, and basically it's just how I feel, just how it hits me, right? That That's, that's yeah. it. It's simple. Yeah. I, told, I, I totally, I, Matt, I totally, I totally, I totally respect you and I promise like I said, not because of, you know, what you said about us. I totally respect that you take um, your craft serious. You know what I'm saying? Thank and, you, and thank it, you, yeah. And it, and it shows, and, and, and I'm going to tell you, your, your, you, you planted seeds that your harvest is going to be even more than you can ever imagine. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, mm. watch. Thank yeah, you, thank you, know? you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so... <laughs> What an experience. And, you know, I'm glad that you guys were able to be a part of it, right? So uh, yeah. please uh, check out uh, Eastmithy's music. Please check out Shady Beat Yoda's music. Whenever he um, he's part of, you know, some yeah. sort of, like, album or whatnot, you know, just just, just go around and, uh, and, and, and seek it out, man. Like, uh, case in point, like, I, I know he's actually part of, let me pull it up quickly, uh, Miles Grimes' album, Milestone. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, like, I, I know these things. I, I just, yeah. just you know, I just yeah. kind of go out and just look out for new music. So I just saw like, oh, produced by Shy. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. check that out for sure, right? Um, yeah. of course, yeah. check out the Soul Powers. You know, the beginning of, and you know, just look forward. I, I'm the same here too. I'm looking forward to the to the next project. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The latest thing. The latest thing is our um, Guillotine Shark, which is a group with Shy and Lazepo. The latest video out is Soul Survivor, which I'm I'm featured in. And yeah, I'm that actually, video is dope, by the way. <laughs> oh man, crazy, crazy. Little side note, little side note. Sometimes I, I have a little arthritis here and there. This and this is gonna be for the world. I gave you some exclusives. You see my arm real stiff? My arm was killing me that day, man. Straight mm. up. Yeah, it was stiff, man, because of I, I get a little arthritis here every now and then. It runs in the family and yeah, but it, it looked good enough because I was I was the villain that day. I was I was coming trying to find somebody, so it worked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm 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 certainly gonna check that out um that album out as, as well, man. So yeah, Incredible. once again, yeah. So once again, uh, Mr. Smith E. Smithy, right? Thank you so much yes, for 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 being part of this uh this, this this special experience of mine, man. I I hope to do more of this uh with other artists, of course, uh for year, you know for for months. I don't want to say years uh, for months to come, man. Because yeah. I mean, it's one thing to hear someone's project and listen to it and write words about it. That that that's fine, but it's to get into their their mindset, their creativity, and find out you know what. What 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 came about like like how this album came about right that's the kind of yeah. thing that 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 um, intrigues me all the time right it's not just listen to music yeah. but always trying to think about where were they mentally or where were they in the studio what yeah. what what inspired them to make stuff like yeah. that right yeah because you know it, not 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 seeing that I want to be a musician one day but you know music music has always been one of my primary inspirations right um you know especially with my film background I want to get into film one day like seriously right uh yes. you know like I just kind of looking at things from a musical standpoint like wow like 
you know, how, how would I express my thoughts on this topic or that topic, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, of course, man. I mean, E, keep doing what you're doing. Keep inspiring yeah. people like me, you know, especially from where <laughs> I'm from. Uh, keep inspiring you, will, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You too. You too. You thanks, too. Thanks, thanks. You too. You, you, your, 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 your greatness is has just begun. It's, it's going to be bigger than you even Thank know. You. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to that, man. Thanks, thanks for the, for the words of encouragement, man. So, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much about it, man. So, yeah, take care. Take care, brother.